How'd you get your start to, to buy this nice property in San Juan Capistrano? You know, like, oh. what, what's your background like? I thought, geez, I need a technical degree as a female, so I'll just pick accounting. Ooh, did you like doing that kind of stuff? Or? I learned a lot. Uh, I met a lot of really fascinating people. Uh, I mm. saw things I wouldn't see normally. Would I want to do that as a career? Absolutely not. Right. I think it's a grind. Um, I don't. I don't think it's worth what they go through long term, right. but short term, absolutely. It helped me uh, develop the business called uh, VQ OrthoCare, which is why we have this house. Billy's podcast on the planet, AMP. Three, two, one. And we're back. All right. On the road in San Juan Capistrano, Dorian Knapp. It's not nape, right? I always say nape. Nap. Nap. In the house, in her house, beautiful, beautiful building. And yeah, so something I've I've never really told you that's like kind of part of the reason I started this is I, I know your daughter, Taylor. Shout out, Taylor. <laughs> and, <laughs> and James. I love James, too. But um, yeah, I don't know. I would come up here. Taylor would have me up. And then like we'd have like I, I met you and then we would just have the best talks. And I would take so much from them. And so for me, it's like, like I kind of wish other people could have this opportunity to talk to somebody like you, you know? And so for me, that gives me so much energy, like just so much effervescence. And, and so I'm like, dang, like I need to get, I need to get Dorian Knapp on the podcast, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but that's kind of the reason I started this, like just, just giving people the opportunity to hear someone like you speak who has like so much to say, been so successful in her life. So you know, thanks for coming on. I really You're appreciate welcome. it. I really appreciate it. Well, it's good it. seeing you again. You too. It's been too long. Yeah. Been, been You're too long. You're a stranger. Long. You need to stop by more. I know. I really need to. I really need to. But um, yeah, so we're we're here, San Juan Capistrano, on the, the lemon farm. Okay. Which is, I feel like a story in itself. But <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, how, so how did that, how did that come together? Oh, with the farm? Yeah. We moved in. And the kids were young at the time, mm -hmm. so we put a sport court up there. And in the middle of that, you know, acre and a half, we had to do something, right? So <laughs> somebody talked me into lemon trees, told me there were no work, they smelled pretty, and somebody uh -huh. pick them. And I'm like, oh, okay, let's just put those in. Uh, first few years, that was true. They mm -hmm. were simple. But after about year four, they're trees. They take a ton of work. Right. And uh, now that's why we created Mrs. Pucker's Lemon Farm. So we would start selling, producing, and uh, manufacturing a drink. That's, so you just kind of like stumbled into that then? or Yeah, was I that... mean, we started selling. We started allowing somebody to come in and pick our lemons, but mm -hmm. that doesn't cover the cost of running an orchard. So after that, uh, my kids were drinking a lot of Jamba Juice at the time and, and okay. telling me how healthy it was. <laughs> and then I started looking at it and realized it's not healthy at all. Yeah, it's at full all. of sugar. So I just right. started playing around with our lemons because I started researching it, realizing how healthy they are for a lot of reasons. Oh, so Digestion, inflammation, cholesterol. I mean, I could go on and on and on. And I thought, God, I'm going to start making a drink for the family. And well, that's how it started. It took me about six months to perfect it. <laughs> and uh, after that, people started asking me for it. So the next thing I know, Mrs. Pucker started selling Pucker lemon shots. <laughs> That's amazing. That's a true story. That's such a cool story. Yeah. And then, so how, but how did you, so you didn't buy the property with the intention of. No, but <laughs> no, no, it was just, somebody was like, what are you going to do with that? It's all weeds up there. And honestly, we do back up to the uh, canyon. Mm -hmm. So at the time, you know, you're going to get a lot of snakes, a lot of rodents, a lot of everything. Right. So clearing the land, honestly, lemons are drought. So we didn't want something that sucked up a lot of water. And we just thought it would be really beautiful. And the kids, you know, sport court up there <laughs> is in the middle. And now that really is used for a landing for one where they come and pick the lemons. Right. Yeah. That's our Dang. staging. That's so cool. You yeah. just turn like that, that plot of land into a yeah. business. Yeah. And we actually, uh, finally the county gave us a uh, break on taxes. It took us two and a half years to, to go through that. <laughs> but that went from 7,500 a year to 179 in taxes wow. a year, which is fair because you can't build up there. Right. So that was, that was, a, we were the first people to uh, accomplish that goal in California. Wow. That's yes. amazing. Yeah. So that was a biggie for Wait, So us. you can't build up there. No, you're not allowed to build on a reg line. So uh, we can have our, you know, little sheds up there or anything to do with running a lemon grove, but mm -hmm. you can't put a house up there. 
So it wasn't fair to be taxed like that. Right. No, it yeah, took no a chance. lot, but we finally got it through. And, and you said you're uh, the first people in yeah, California the state. to get mm -hmm. that break? Yep. Yep. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Yeah, it really helped. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's so cool. So so how did you get from, like, how'd you get your start to, to buy this nice property in San Juan Capistrano, you know, like? Oh. What what's your background like? I don't I don't really know too well. I think it's in accounting. If I'm correct. Well, okay, let's back up. Let's back uh, up. Oh man, I'm you know I've got a <laughs> lot of years under my belt here. <laughs> I got a lot of stories. <laughs> uh, let's let's see. I grew up in the East Coast. My parents bought a medical company when I was 11. So my brother and I grew up in the medical area got of uh, durable medical equipment, and our specialty back then was uh, spinal cord rehab. So we did a lot of work with paraplegics, quadriplegics. Uh, we did a lot of work with autistic children, CP, MS, mm -hmm. MD. We did a lot of that heavy duty stuff. Right. Uh, really learned a lot, but after a while, that's, that gets to you. So I really, honestly, back in the day, I wanted to be a veterinarian. That was my <laughs> right. goal. That's what I really wanted to do. Uh -huh. So I worked on farms, worked in vets offices. It was crazy. Uh, we had some family trauma, kind of changed my world. I left school for four years, um, and I worked uh, for American Hospital Supply in the in the medical profession. Got it. After that, you know, you realize, especially as a female back then, if you don't finish your degree, you're really stuck. Mm -hmm. uh, nobody takes you seriously. Right. So I went back as a junior, and I couldn't go back in science. I, I was a chemistry, biology Mm -hmm. major minor <laughs> yeah. and so i thought geez i need a technical degree as a female so i'll just pick accounting mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so i picked accounting yeah. and uh, graduated out of asu and went to work for price waterhouse so worked there uh, in the audit department and then transferred over to tax Ooh, did you like doing that kind of stuff? Or? I learned a lot. Uh, I met a lot of really fascinating people. Uh, I mm. saw things I wouldn't see normally. Would I want to do that as a career? Absolutely not. Right. I think it's a grind. Um, I don't. I don't think it's worth what they go through long term. Right. But short term, absolutely. Definitely. It helped me uh, develop the business called uh, VQ OrthoCare, which is why we have this house. Oh wow! So Jim and I um, met in college. He went to work for Ernst & Young at the time, and then uh, I convinced him we should move to California. I wanted to get back into the medical profession because I knew it so well, mm -hmm. had learned enough about what I wanted to know in accounting and basic tax. So he finally agreed, and he came over, and he went to work for Pricewaterhouse. I started VQ out of the house. Out of the house. Out of the house, <sighs> and his mom helped me. I remember sitting back with envelopes just putting stickers on them, sending them out. Oh, it's funny. Making <laughs> cold calls, doing the whole nine yards. Right. After about six, seven months, Jim would come in at night and look at when, you know, what we're doing. Cause I'd be out during the day and then we'd bill stuff at night mm -hmm. and get boxes ready and the whole nine yards. And then he finally was like, Whoa, you got something going here. Right. So he quit and we both went full time mm -hmm. into the business. That's amazing. Yeah. Wait, so what exactly is the business? The business was, at the time, an interferential unit, mm -hmm. which is a high-powered TENS unit. Okay. Much more, um, it, it penetrates deeper, and it works really, really well in inflammation. So if you take inflammation out of skin, it really takes a lot of pain out. It also uh, will, right. will uh, your healing process will speed up. So we started in podiatry because orthopedic guys wouldn't talk to us at the time. And we really mastered podiatry. So we brought in that unit, and then we brought in what we call CPM units, mm -hmm. which maneuver your joints. So they had ankles at the time. Uh, and then we moved into orthopedics after that. And when we did, we positioned the product to be surgical. So we'd be in OR rooms, and just before they closed the incision, they would put our sterile electrodes on. And then we would meet them in recovery, plug the unit in, mm -hmm. and you'd go home with it. Well... If I can control that much inflammation right up front, I can speed up your range of motion. I can speed up your healing. I can speed up your pain level or reduce your pain levels. Right. So that's how we really infiltrated uh, orthopedics, holding on to podiatry and then just adding products to it. So we do a lot of, we, we manufacture now. Mm -hmm. So our manufacturing facility is in Vista and we manufacture bracing. We manufacture electrical stem units. We handle bone stimulation. 
So we've expanded into that. So if I come in to talk to you, I can provide you a lot of product. Mm -hmm. So that's how that company started. Still is going. It's 30 years old now. So it's about 150 employees. Wow. That's amazing. So the leap from Price Waterhouse to VQ, was mm -hmm. that a tough decision for you to make? Or were you like, fuck it, I'm ready? Like, Oh, no, I knew. <laughs> I knew. Right. I knew. I knew my background. And I didn't want to go into... I was, I just didn't want to go into areas where uh, people die because mm. after a while it really gets to you. I wanted acute medicine and sports medicine, mm -hmm. uh, orthopedics, uh, some chronic pain. You know, that's a little sad, but most people do well, get better, move on. Right. So it's a no, much definitely. happier place. So how do you develop that product or is that? Oh, um, <laughs> there was a manufacturer in Minnesota that couldn't move his product at all. Um, because of my background from years ago, I mean, I understood that unit and just started playing around with it and started positioning it, mm -hmm. um, again, through podiatry and we would do all foot surgery with those guys. Wow. So when you had a bunionectomy, your, your electrode would be on there and they would just wrap over it. And so <laughs> we started selling more units than they could sell in the whole country. So Jim being Jim uh, just being a master at what he does, uh, basically had them write a contract with us where they give us the exclusive, nobody could compete with us in California. Mm -hmm. And I would go out and train and anything they sold across the country, they'd pay us 10% wow. royalty and oh they would pay me a thousand dollars a day to go train. So that basically funded our growth. Right. And it was, I think we had that for about five years. Okay. And they paid us a lot of money. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure. It, it, it funded the growth of VQ. Right. Yeah. Got it. Mm -hmm. Got it. So yeah. then from VQ, so VQ is still going, you said 150 oh, employees. Yeah. No, no, very, so yeah. Are you still CEO of that? Are you running that? Uh, no, Jim runs, Jim, Jim runs, runs uh, VQ. I'm still on the board. Um, but no, I've moved on. I started Pucker, as you know. Right. <laughs> and through a lot of that research, realized I wanted a CBD product to put in my lemon drink. And that's how that started. Oh my gosh. So I found a gentleman that's been in this industry 20 years who's brilliant. Mm -hmm. And he's one of my partners now. <clears throat> and he came here and he gave me what we call nano CBD, which looks like this, but it's white. So it's water. It's okay. liquid. And you can put it in just about anything, and it's highly absorbable. So I put it in my lemon drink, and it took off. I mean, it's very powerful, mm -hmm. very good for inflammation again, but anxiety, stress, right. uh, sleep, just really works well. And yeah. it's all natural, all organic. There's no, there's no preservatives or sugars. So that's how that all started. Mm -hmm. And then the more I started looking around and working with him, we ended up joining forces in January and creating IHS, which is the wellness division associated to VQ OrthoCare. Oh, okay. Because what we're seeing is CBD is moving into the medical space. Definitely. And we've been in that space for 30 years, so we've got what we need. We've got the FDA regulations, the QA, the, the QC, mm -hmm. uh, the sales force. So now we're developing our own product line in CBD. Like what kind of products? Uh, well, we started with the lemon drink, mm -hmm. and then he has perfected a pain cream that you put on. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you, in 15 minutes, that site will be pain-free. It's amazing. It, really? It's flying off the shelf. And we have an extra strength and a regular. And then he also created what we call rejuvenating cream. So if you put it on your skin, because it's nano, it will pass through the lipid layer back down into where you need elastin and collagen growth. Mm -hmm. And it'll start coming back up. So in a month or two, you're going to see your skin is so much softer, supple, bright, healthy. Mm -hmm. If you have skin problems like irritation and you put it on, it'll, it'll like people with eczema and psoriasis use it. Oh, wow. So some of them use the menthol one and some of them use the rejuvenating, which is plant-based. It's a Paya based. It, oh, it's so great. <laughs> and it's highly absorbable. So it doesn't sit on top of your skin. Got it. So he had those. And then from there, we just started working. So now we have a uh, minty citrus oral tincture that you put under your tongue. Really, really effective for pain, stress, mm -hmm. and uh, anxiety. We have gummy bears that are really tasty, three flavors in a in a bottle, but therefore focus and energy. Got it. Do they have caffeine in them or? No. 
Nope. They have terpenes. What, what is that? Terpenes are, <laughs> if you go out and smell the lemons or you smell an orange, that's a terpene. Mm -hmm. But terpenes we're finding mixed with CBD can provide such health benefits. Amazing. So certain terpenes will give you energy. Certain terpenes will relax you. Certain terpenes will increase or decrease your um, blood pressure, your cholesterol. It's, it's just amazing what nature does. And that's why, you know, we've always been told, eat your fruits, eat your vegetables. Mm -hmm. Well, if you really step back, you'll understand the flavonoids, the polyphenols, and the uh, terpenes that are in there are the healthiest things you can put in your body. Yeah. yeah. So if you put it with something that's highly absorbable, you want to absorb what you eat mm -hmm. or it doesn't really do you much well or much good. Right. Right. So after that, we also do vapes and our vapes are nicotine free. They're THC free. They're built with MCT oil, which is also very absorbable in the body mm -hmm. and enhances CBD. So you can get what you want, whether it's energy or relaxation without THC, without nicotine. Ours are all lead free. We test for that. And the nice thing is there's no carcinogenic because it burns right. evenly. Wow. Like a cigarette burns hot and that's where the uh -huh. carcinogenics will come from. When you have a vape and you're vaping, your, your, your heat is very smooth in and out mm -hmm. and you don't get that combustion. So is there no negative effects to vaping? I'm not... A um, too like well versed in that world, and but isn't uh, just smoke no. coming into your lung? Is that it's really it's or is it the it, carcinogenic? It, it's not. It's not carcinogenic. Right. You don't have any nicotine. You don't have any THC, and you're really we're finding it to be extremely beneficial. I've got some nurses that are working with it. So one person that she's working with had really he big asthma problems. So we have her on a lemon based Vape? terpene vape they're <laughs> off their medication that's so cool we have other people that are in severe pain and it would it gives you a quick release because it will go through the capillaries of the lung mm -hmm. uh, but but again because our cbd has been winterized you don't have the wax buildup that would sit in your lungs and when you nano that the particles are so small that it's not bringing in any of the negative effects that some of the vaping companies have mm -hmm. you want to be careful that cheaper vapes do have uh, heavy metal leakage into the oil got it so you always want to find someone that's testing for all this and can show you mm -hmm. and that's what all of our products are doing so i mean we found the vapes to be incredibly helpful for chronic pain uh anybody with an oral fixation issue mm -hmm. overeating cigarette smoking um, it, it gives them something to do and it calms them down at the same time. Got it. I'm, I wasn't a big proponent of vaping, to be honest with you, but now yeah. the more I'm around it, the more I see it, the more I've tried it myself, I'm, mm -hmm. I, uh, I've changed my mind. I think there's a really big place for so it. So did you take like a deep dive into like, cause you, you're so knowledgeable about it. Like, how did you learn all that? Like, because so for the last year and a half or two years, I've been spending been... a lot of time <laughs> learning about it, right. understanding it, finding the value, where you place things, because it's not meant for everything. I think CBD really plays a strong role in uh, anti-inflammatory. Yeah, just taking a step back, what are the like the big over? Uh, what are the big benefits of CBD like that that you've, you've seen? Uh, definitely an antioxidant. So what that really means is free radicals in your body that cause illness, uh, diseases. It uh, neutralizes. Mm -hmm. It also helps with in inflammation. So everybody thinks that just means like my knee hurts. Well, that does mean <laughs> that. But a lot of inflammation is Parkinson's, is Alzheimer's, is mm -hmm. Uh, intestinal issues. Those are all inflammatory based problems. Right. CBD is really effective in reducing all of those issues. Really effective. Also really effective in reducing anxiety, stress, helps with uh, sleep. Mm -hmm. And at a lower dosages can actually give you energy mixed with the right terpenes, which is fascinating. That's to me. fascinating. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> one of our vapes is for that. It's a sativa base. So when you, when I say that to you, you automatically think cannabis. Yes. Right. THC. Okay. Yeah. So what the trick to that is is you take that plant, you analyze it, and then you go find fruits and vegetables that have the same properties and create that terpene to, that copies that, but it's not that. So it's bioidentical, but it's not THC. 
That's so, I've never heard that. It's amazing. <laughs> and I'm telling you, I was not a fan. I am such a big fan now. So we've got our sativa base, which is energy. Mm-hmm. You've got a hybrid, which is kind of in between. And then you have your indica that's relaxing. For, for sleep more, right? St- well, you know, we've got three different levels. So our pink champagne is definitely for sleep. <laughs> and this is the vape, right? And or- this is a vape. <laughs> and then our sherbet's breath is just for calming if you're stressed out. Uh-huh. We have some CEOs that are very high profile people that will use that. They'll they'll take a slow draw one or two and the rest of the like for hours on their desk they're calm. They're not stressed because right. they got 50 things hitting them at once and right. it's just clarity. True. It it's been amazing. I've 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 been so fascinated with the vape products that we have. Also with just our our product line in general. It's mm-hmm. it's very high quality. Um we're going through a very rigid process right now of what we call track and trace. So our farm in Kentucky, we know everything about that plant <laughs> all the way to a crystal isolate. Right. We test everything, third party analysis. And as we make our products, like we make our nano, we test it. And when, if it goes into our cream, we test it. And anything else that goes into that cream, we have a lot that can tell me exactly what went in there and where it came from. Right. So it's called Lot Trace. Uh, we're really excited about that. It's been a big undertaking, but I think it just shows that we're very serious about this, mm-hmm. and it's very important that you know what's in that container mm-hmm. when you abs- when you take it. I love that. Yeah. I love that. And yeah. I think that transparency is something that's really attractive to me when I'm like looking in, in the market for something like that. You know, right. like that transparency speaks volumes. It does. So that's that's amazing. And it's a learning experience. So exactly. I'm yeah, learning here, right? Now yeah, so and, and so are we as we've been yeah. going through formulations, you know, we've we've had to adjust. We had to change some things based on what we expected to see and what we did see. So there's a lot of R and D that goes on mm-hmm. before a product is exactly what you want it to be. Right. The good news is there's really no downside to C- C B D if it's ingested too much, you would have like dry mouth, nausea, because mm-hmm. you're dehydrating. Got it. But it's impossible to overdose because the receptors that are affected are not in the brainstem. Like opiates. That's what Got happens it. to people. They, they will stop breathing because those receptors are in the brainstem. Mm-hmm. So it's same with cannabis, by the way. That's why you don't find people you don't overdose. overdose. Yeah. You can't. Yeah. Now, not to say there isn't some psychosomatic effects to THC. Mm-hmm. There definitely are. are. Yeah. There are. So CBD plays a great role in eliminating that need. There is a place for a combination when you're talking about serious illnesses, mm-hmm. which we don't we don't play in that field. Right. We, we know where we belong. Right. We're just not we're not a pharmaceutical company. I don't have five years to to do what would be required, <laughs> which has you know epilepsy. They've yeah. they've actually launched a drug for children. Very effective. Really? Yeah. GW Pharma. It's on mm. the market. Uh, the FDA that. approved it, but they didn't approve their patent, the patents, but it's still on the market. It's still available. It's been in Europe for a while. So there is places, but for us, we want to stay over the counter dealing with inflammation, Got cr- it. you know, pain, mm-hmm. uh, anxiety, stress. And if you stay in that ballpark, you're talking to the right person. I love it. No, I love it. So just kind of speaking on you, like at least what I'm gathering right now, you go yep. from Price Waterhouse to VQ to the lemons, now to CBD. Like what keeps your mind so just open to all this new? Because the people older, like the older, not older generation. Well, but I'm older. It's people okay. like a step older than me, I, I just see them so much more closed off to like cannabis is terrible. Like CBD is a part of cannabis. Like, don't you know what I mean? It's yeah, like, I what do. what keeps your mind so open? Because that's honestly, you know, so what inspiring I think? for me. I think uh, having my children later in life. I mean, I was thirty seven oh. when I had Taylor. I was thirty nine when I had James. So I think it kept me in a younger group. Like Got a lot it. of my friends are ten years, five, seven years younger than I am, mm-hmm. and I just think that really helped us stay a little more in touch um, and a little more motivated. You know what I mean? Yeah, definitely. And then having people like you and all all the kids. <laughs> no, seriously, have all the kids coming through this house. Um, we learned. It was fun. I mean, we learned a lot. Mm-hmm. We we were exposed to new thoughts and what's going on out there. Right. Um, so it was really fun. I miss it. Yeah, it's, it's just you so, know? yeah, especially just you as a woman too. You're like, that's what I'm just so inspired because you're such a role model for people my age, like girls my age, guys my age. But it's 
like I'm that's why I'm so happy I'm sitting here with you just talking <laughs> about it so like like what advice do you have for like females entrepreneurs just entrepreneurs in general just because I just love your spirit I love your your heart you know you just such a great energy it's Um, You know, listen, success comes with failure, too. I Mm. mean, I've failed in a few things along the way. um, And you, I'd learn to adjust. Don't give up. Right. Uh, Be honest with yourself when you know something isn't working. Stop. Adjust. Go back and fix it. But identify what you did wrong and what should you do to make it right. I think that's a really important step in life. Because I've done it all. I mean, I've done a lot of wrong. (laughs) Do you have any, like, tangible examples Yeah, yeah, here's a perfect one for you. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, I have a few, but one that really hit home for me was I was back at school, right? I'm graduating. Mm -hmm. I was a science major going into accounting. So I didn't interview in the fall because I didn't know that's what you did for the future for the right. fall ahead, <laughs> yeah, yeah, right I I and I didn't really have enough credits I didn't feel so I interviewed in the spring and I wanted to go it was a big eight back then mm-hmm. and I was rejected by every single one of them Ooh. I got one interview and maybe I got two interviews and I got two rejection letters and I was devastated and I thought god what a big loser I am what I did wrong is I didn't really address my audience I didn't change my appearance properly Mm. I I didn't like I just felt like I could because I was a little older and I had done stuff in my life I just kind of felt like here I am I think that was a huge mistake so I had to step back and go okay what did I do so wrong that I have a donut hole graduating (laughs) from college whoa yeah and it took a semester Um, I took a class, I rethought things, I really toned down my appearance, I went back and interviewed, and I got seven out of eight offers. Wow. Yeah. That's, oh, so that's, yeah. So, and it it was rough, let me tell you, I mean, I was devastated, and it took a lot to stand in the mirror and go, okay, if you want to get into that profession, what do you need to change, Dorian? Right. And change it. And you did it. it, yeah. So that's an example of a failure to a success that, to this day, I still remember. <laughs> right. No, that's amazing. That's a, that's a great, like, exactly yeah, what you were speaking yeah. of. And trying to bring a few products to uh, the market, you really, you really have to be honest with yourself and make sure you have the time that you've really done the research, <laughs> mm-hmm. that you've gone out to the marketplace to make sure that there's a demand for that product before you start. Got it. So there have been time. There, there are a few products that I wanted to do or, or programs I wanted to run. I wasn't honest, so they never got anywhere uh, due to maybe lack of time on my part or mm. lack of research. So you, you know, if you hit it, <laughs> you know, somebody really smart said to me, if you do it right, fifty-one percent of the time, you'll be successful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> and it's true. That's so true. Yeah, because you're gonna fail. You're gonna fail to win, to right. live. You know, to you le- have to to learn. It's a, it's a part of life. Yeah. Right? And you guys are going to live probably to close to 100. So I'm sure you'll have multiple jobs, multiple success stories, multiple mm-hmm. everything. Right. Just try to have one wife. Because <laughs> <laughs> they're expensive. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah. That is too yeah. funny. Jim and I just... Uh, we Jim's just, your husband. Yes. Jim, my husband, we just celebrated our 32nd year of marriage. Wow. How do you... That's it's work. A, yeah. You can ask them. It's, you know, it's giving and, and trusting and finding that you both have same beliefs and key, key parts of your life. Mm-hmm. And I, again, and I like what parts would you say? How do you want to raise your children? Got it. How do you want to uh, build together? Like, you know, you don't want somebody that's out there taking apart your 10 year plan because they don't understand um, not to overspend stupid things right. or you have children and that's when it really becomes interesting. Like, okay, what are our value systems and what are you going to tolerate and what aren't you going to tolerate? Mm-hmm. And as you know, in this house, we were lenient in a lot of areas and strict in others, Definitely. but I didn't want my kids not being exposed where they go off to college and they're crazy, Right. where I'd rather see what they're doing in high school, correct it there, give them a box big enough to play in. 
<laughs> I love that. Yeah, but it's true. And no, and and uh, you know, I mean, everybody really. We had one or two kids that were not so great, but for the most part, mm-hmm. everybody here was pretty. I mean, they had their yeah. fun. And I remember Taylor got caught with her first bottle of booze. <laughs> Big trouble. Oh my God, we still laugh about it. <laughs> Was it was in middle school. Oh, it was in middle school. Yeah, she got caught. Oh, she got in big trouble. <laughs> Avery Cantor brought a big bottle of Jägermeister. Oh my! And they gosh. all ran up there and had a big party. And she was so stupid. She walked past here. It's that because I she, I used to walk the dogs every morning. She uh-huh. knew I'd be up there. Yeah. So instead of going out the back door and around and grabbing the bottle, uh-huh. she went right past me and then came back and, and I'm like, "What's under your sweater?" We still. Have- <laughs> She got, everybody couldn't come to the house for six weeks. It was devastating. Oh, that is devastating. It was devastating. This is the house. This, this, was, this was the, the house, house in high school, shut huh? Down. Everybody apologized. Oh, God, it was so cute. But, oh. I mean, it's learning lessons. Right. So as we went in high school, junior and senior year, they could have their little parties. Mm-hmm. But it was, don't throw it in my face. If anybody acts ridiculous, that's a problem for me. Right. And I'll tell you, by, by junior, they were really really they had a lot of fun Mm -hmm. but everybody was really in control of themselves for the most part and they did a great job yeah that's that's the best way to learn i feel like too and the kids went away to college they weren't they weren't shocked they weren't like running around some of the kids that were so suppressed in high school that Mm -hmm. we knew really lost it in in college and i'm sure you saw a few of them i'm sure you know goodness i saw yeah terrible so that was uh that's a philosophy that if you don't have it together Mm -hmm. that's a problem and i know at times jim is a little stressed out i bet bet. (laughs) but i'd be like come on (laughs) the kids turned out just fine (laughs) right so yeah that i would say that's you know one of the bigger things be Mm -hmm. ready to have your children don't rush they're the greatest joy in the world, but if you're too young, it's too much. Right. It's a and burden. Right. You said you young. were 37, right? 37. Like, and I'm not saying you have to be that old, right. but, you know, give yourself some time. Mm-hmm. You know, early 30s, I think, would be perfect. Right. Because I feel like that gives you time to figure yourself out, too. You need you know? to do that. And some people it's a don't. It's complicated world out there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it's getting more complicated. No, it definitely yeah. is. It definitely is. Yeah. But, um, yeah. So back to, like... The, the parties that we would, we would, or Taylor would invite me up here for college, like for oh. a few, a few fight nights. Some of my fondest memories from college. Oh, oh my God. So it much was fun. fun. You guys had a lot of fun in this house. Right. Oh yeah. 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 Oh, and when kids come back, like Miller here. comes back, mm-hmm. uh, James will come up. They'll, they'll hang out here for a few days at a time. Right. It's such, such a nice little getaway for him. I oh yeah. yeah. Oh no. Yeah. So that's what I mean. When Taylor comes back, you definitely have to come down. Oh, I'm so here. I know you're in Russia, but yeah. <laughs> next time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll be in Russia for, for Labor Day. Is that when she's back? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Man, I haven't yeah. seen her in too long. But um but yeah. So you do do you do jujitsu or what, no, karate? I do I no no I do is, Muay Thai. Muay Thai. Muay Thai. Stand up. I was doing a little jujitsu. When did you start doing that? Oh, you're two thousand. So you were early on it. Yeah. At least over here, it's like starting to really pick up now. I've seen, but oh, really? Like, yeah, oh, yeah, I've yeah. We had the privilege of, of working with uh, Marco Ruas. No way, yeah. We trained with him for like six years. It was really <laughs> He's a, a legend, he is a legend, and it was really an honor. Oh, my! So, what got, you, what got you into that? And does that like how does that help you in your life? Like, my friend arts actually convinced. Well, it was interesting. I got a call from a girl that said, Hey, I lost my partner. I'm looking for someone. Would you give this a try? And mm-hmm. I'm like, sure. Cause I was, you know, whatever. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> we go there and, uh, Susie Hines was a really good friend of mine at the time. Mm-hmm. And she had been doing it for years and she's amazing. This, this girl is, she should have been, if she was younger, she should have been in the MMA. I'm not kidding. You. Really? Oh, she had all the talent in the world to do it. <sighs> she was that good. So she was like, she told Marco, she's like, look, I know this girl. And if you go in and don't kick her butt, she'll never come back. Mm. So I come in, I'm totally <laughs> clueless. I'm with my other friend. We're doing part, you know, the two of us. Yeah. I got my <laughs> butt kicked. I mean, I walked out of there like a wet rat going, oh, whoa. Goodness. And it was just addictive. So ever since we've right. been training two to three days a week ever since. And you have a gym here, right? Mm-hmm. I'm trying to stout. Now who I work with now is uh, Dino. And he was out of sub fighter. Mm-hmm. So those guys are a fighting gym. So they're real trainers. Right. Um, so we train fighters. Yeah. So <laughs> some of our technique, it's all about tech. I don't fight. Mm-hmm. I do pad work. I'm not getting hit. I'm, that's not for me. Jim, right. Jim uh, 
did sparring until this year. Really? Yeah, but I mean, he's getting to the age where it's detrimental. Yeah. It's not healthy. Yeah, it's hurting more than it's helping. Yeah, so for, for sure. me, it's coordination skills, keeping yourself in shape, mm-hmm. um, focus, which you get hit. I mean, you got to pay attention. Right, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so it's good. No, yeah, I really want to get into it. I want to get into You said you did jiu-jitsu for a bit? That's what I want to I did jiu-jitsu for about going. a little over a year. I think it's an incredible sport. I wish mm-hmm. I had started it years ago. It's just at my age right now, it's too easy to get hurt. Right. Uh, you can tear some like, ligaments. Yeah, they were doing leg locks. That was not good for me. Um, my knee, I, I, and it, it, it's, no. Um, <laughs> I loved it. I wish I had started it. I'm serious. I wish I had started it when I started stand-up. Hmm. Because you, you, we were doing both. It's an amazing sport. Yeah. No, it is. It I mean, is. I would strongly recommend it. I know. I'm really trying to get into it. Like MMA brings it all together too. So, oh, yeah. See, so you're up in Santa Monica. You have we have one of the best uh, jujitsu uh, gyms that just opened. And the in, in fact, he was doing privates with me here. Really? Wait, yeah. Who? And he just opened his own gym, Ali. Mm. Amazing. Probably one of the best in the business. And he's a young guy. Comes out of Northern California. Comes out of one of those strong fight camps up there. Uh huh. What, what, do you know which one? Like, uh, the fight camp? No, and I wish I did. God, sorry, Ali. I've got an opportunity to sell you here. And <laughs> he's amazing, though. Oh, uh, yeah. So if and you're he's interested. In Santa Monica, I'll, you said? No, I, I said it's in, too bad. No, he's, he's in, right over here oh, in Mission right Viejo. Here. Got it. Got but it. he opened his own gym about a year ago. He's doing super well now. Oh, that's amazing. And he's amazing. Yeah, it's a, it's a crazy sport. Like the leg locks now? Or yeah, don't do that. Getting, I would suggest not doing that. I think there's a lot of other things to learn. Leg locks are dangerous because they lock before you can say stop. Right. And weren't, weren't they like not... I wouldn't do that. Not banned, but like no one did them because it was like... Yeah, kinda, it's dangerous. You don't want to tear it's someone's just not, knee yeah, apart. Yeah. yeah. No, no. So I would skip that part. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. So just looking forward, like where do you see... Like, what's next for you? Where do you see your happiness lying where do you, like where do you see it taking you launching ihs Got that's it. a really big deal for me so we are right you know we've been working at this we started let's say realistically in january mm-hmm. we're about a month out from finishing every little detail on a huge product line so i'm really excited about really getting out there now um, so are the vapes out there and- oh yeah you can buy everything oh. now oh, but when i one. say that i mean an entire uh marketing program mm. Um, there's so many things that I can envision that, you know, are, are systems. Right. So that, you know, in the next four to six weeks, a lot of that's going to come to complete, you know, fruition and oh, that'll be up. exciting. But in the meantime, we're, people are ordering, we're online. Got it. Uh, we have, we opened a store. We have a storefront. We really brick and mortar. Yeah. Is it down here? It's in Irvine, right by the airport. Oh my gosh. Right off I'm of go uh, Red Hill. My way back. Oh Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, um, so you can order online. We've got a store. Um, I've got people that are out there selling a bit. We've got a lot of um, Mm -hmm. ICs, independent representatives. I've got it, got it. So, yeah, we've just been bubbling, and I can't wait just to launch. So that's my big one. 46 weeks, you said? Yeah, I want to be done with all of our concepts. So when we go out and present, we have a Mm -hmm. full concept. Right now, if you need a product, we certainly have it. Right. We have a brochure. I mean, we have some things, but Mm -hmm. not like what I envision. That's so exciting. Yeah, yeah. And then the farm should, um, you know, the the big harvest will be in October. New biomass (laughs) coming in in November. Um, So that's important for us to be able to control our... our, uh, crystal isolate got it because you you have to have your supply right that's, yeah. <laughs> that's I, really I need, important i need to watch this back and google some words but, <laughs> <laughs> but no yeah, that's yeah. amazing yeah. yeah so that that's a big one for me um it's strange and not having the kids yeah you know, it's been a big change I'm, I'm so sure. i've got three dogs or two dogs and james is on babysitting <laughs> wait does he live with him in san diego the, mm-hmm. is that james's dog what's his name her name that's zay zay <laughs> <laughs> she's the cutest little thing. So she's been hanging out for a couple of weeks. And uh-huh. then um, that's just trying to stay healthy and mm-hmm. communicate with Taylor and James. Love it. Yeah. So Love they're, it. they've been really fun. To, we, we had a family trip for five days. To DC? Yeah. And it was so 
fun. I mean, we all had a really good time. Right. No, it looked like it on James's Instagram <laughs> story. <laughs> well, some of that I wasn't there for. <laughs> and some of it I was. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, but it was so great. so funny. Yeah, it was really entertaining. Mm-hmm. That's, yeah. So how do you keep that, like, grit? You seem to have such a good work-life balance, or I don't know if maybe... I what probably work a little would? more than I should at this point. Okay. But you have to. So if right. you're going to start a company, uh, my experience has been anytime I've not been involved, it doesn't go well. <laughs> I think when you start a company like what you're doing, yeah. you need to know as much as you can about what you right. want to accomplish and make exactly. sure it's happening the way you think it is. So for this next year or two, I'll be working a lot. Um, but after that, I think it's just going to be really exciting to watch it grow and, and take mm-hmm. part in what I really want to do That's as opposed amazing. to right now, making sure every piece is where I think it should be. Right. Cause you're in all that minutia yeah. right and now. And I, right? I have a great partners that are, um, I mean, Damien is, his name is Damien. He is amazing formulator, hardworking. Uh, we just launched a test for the equine industry what is for that? horses. What is it, like equestrian? Uh-huh. They call me equine, equine for horses. Yeah. Um, horses tend to have, um, they're either depressed or they're very temperamental. I and you're talking extremely anything. expensive <laughs> horses, right? right? So it's a big deal. So we're launching a test pilot on Tuesday mm-hmm. and it's two milliliter syringes that you just pop in their mouth. And we're working with a very high level uh, quarter horse farm uh-huh. in Ohio. And so, so we're really what, excited about what it. What is in those... Those pills. Our nano like CBD. <laughs> That's insane. Yeah. Oh so yeah. Whose idea was that? Who's like, oh, we should try this out on horses. Like, <laughs> we've been approached, and Damien's like mentioned it a few times too. And then one of our guys that is uh, a manager for VQ, mm-hmm. he, you know, he's been selling my CBD, and he Gotta has a cousin it. who's in that that business, and mm-hmm. and and we just started talking about it. So we got him on the phone. And Roger's like, absolutely, I want to try this. I've got 75 horses here. I said, I'm going to send down oh, enough no. for 30 for 30 days. We're going to have it charted. I want to see. I want to feel it. I'm pretty excited about it. Right. That's, see, to me, that would be huge. It seems like there's such a big market for that. If one guy has 75 There's horses. like 9 million <laughs> horses in the United States. So Jesus. we would target people like him. And mm-hmm. then the veterinarians that he works with want to see this too. So I'm excited. See that's now, so, to me, that's exciting because I I love the animal world, mm-hmm. um, and I just think it would be. I used to ride co- um, horses for my college. When really? I was, yeah, when I was younger, my first couple of years. Yeah, I was a hunter jumper. So <laughs> to insane. me, that's like, it. oh right. my god, if I could even be around those gorgeous animals, it'd be exciting. Right. And like you said, you wanted to be a, a vet before, right? right? So to so me, that kind of in. thing, if I can start doing those, I'd be like, woo. <laughs> Yeah. So excited. So we'll see. Yeah. Yeah. No, but I just think CBD has a place. I think it's growing. I know the state of California is passing a bill very shortly, making it 100% uh, illegal in food, beverage, and topicals, which is illegal. Huge. No, legal. Oh, that's a- legal. No. <laughs> Got it. No, legal. Um, even though the FDA is having an issue with what to do with it, mm-hmm. it appears that if it's point. O three and below, it's going to be a supplement, and anything above will be considered a drug. That's oh, perfect wow. for us because we're zero. We're zero. <laughs> Wait, zero. THC. THC. Zero, okay. zero, zero. Got it. So nobody has to worry about testing positive. Nobody right. has to worry about any, you know, especially some of the older people that we have. Mm-hmm. Um, when there's any THC, it tends to make them very disoriented or anxious. You know, the the psychosomatic, we don't have to deal with any of that. Right, at all. No. So pilots, police, firemen, Mm -hmm. people that are in industries where they'd be fired, people that are hypersensitive to that. Right. uh, We've we've got answers. So that's exciting to me. That's so, because the the market's so big for that. Mm -hmm. It's it's just about positioning it properly. Right. Having the ability to prove what's in your bottle, not overselling it how hard is that to do like a lot. fda approval like- we don't need fda approval oh you don't no because i believe it'll stay under supplement we'll Got be it. under title 21 we'll be under other we'll be under usda we'll mm-hmm. be under oh don't worry there's gonna, enough regulation to <laughs> choke a horse <laughs> right and in a funny way fda will be monitoring labeling for sure mm-hmm. and they should i should not make a claim that it clear that it cures cancer right 
No. Not going yeah. there. Yeah. There's a lot of research with CBD and THC and THC working in cancer very effectively. Mm -hmm. But that's not our space. Right. That's, that's not, not where we are. That's not where we're focused. Got it. Because it's way beyond us. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 be, yeah. 100%. We want to give you guys out there, the public, something that'll work mm -hmm. and tell you where it'll work. You know what I mean? And not yeah. oversell it. And it sounds, what do you mean over, well, oh, oversell like, like what it, it does? It cures yeah. everything. No, that, it doesn't. That's kind of my problem. cure everything. With some of this but stuff. But I I've will seen. tell you the basics it will be effective for. If you're anxious, if you have stress, if you have inflammatory issues, whether it's uh, joints or, or, or um, organs mm -hmm. or head, it works. Migraines, it works. Really? Oh, yeah. Yes. I feel very comfortable, comfortable telling you that. And we have particular levels and with our nano, it's so absorbable mm -hmm. that it really makes a difference. And that is the nano in the cream as well? It's in it? all of our products all except products. our vapes. You can't put nano in a vape. So what we do instead is we add specific terpenes. The terpenes. And the, and the MCT oil. And you put those three things together, I'm going to give you one to take. I would love that. And you're going to tell me, you're going to look at me and go, you're telling me there's no THC in here? And I'm going <laughs> to tell you there's no THC in there. <laughs> oh, I love it. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. But um, yeah, I mean, so like going from VQ to, so did you leave VQ with the intention of starting? No, I left VQ 20, kind of done with no. 20 years ago. 20 years ago. I got lucky enough to stay home and raise my children. Oh, so that was your plan. That was then, huge. Um, honestly, I didn't think I wanted children. I didn't want children until I was 37 because I was so into my career and the company it. and Worst, that would have been the worst decision of my life. Wow. Worst decision of my life. So when I was fortunate enough, I worked my first year when I had Taylor and then when I had James, um, I, I was fortunate enough to be able to come home. Mm -hmm. So I got to stay home and raise kids. It's a gift. It was a gift. All right. No, yeah, definitely. It was definitely a gift. So, so what, what flipped that switch to be like, oh, now I want, now I want kids. I, I don't know. It just happened. <laughs> well, that's not true. I was down in... Um, what was it? La Costa, right? Down, down South. Yeah. La Costa. Yeah. yeah. Jim had bought me, I think it was an anniversary or yeah, it must've been an anniversary gift. And I was supposed to go down there for the weekend and mm -hmm. I went down there and there's these beautiful women and they were a group and they were at the pool and I come out and I'm sitting there and they're all complaining about the stupidest things. And I'm, when I tell you really attractive, really pretty women, I'm not kidding. Okay. And they're pro <laughs> probably at that time they were in their early forties and yeah. I was probably, well, 36, 37. So mm -hmm. roughly my age group and I'm listening to them. Now, mind you, I'm a working person at this point. So right. their problems and my problems are two different worlds. Yeah. Right. <laughs> And this little boy walks up. He couldn't have been five or six years old. And he's like, Mommy. And she's like, Get out. This is my time. I already told you, get out. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, And this little kid is like tearing, had an issue, and she just dismissed him and made him go. And I'll never forget it. Yeah. And then listening to them. So I called Jim and I said, Come and get me. I'm over this, I, I, this me, 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 me. I don't want to be one of them. I don't right. want to be the, you know, you can pick them out. I can pick <laughs> out people that have never had a dog or never had a kid. Really? To this, oh, everything bothers them. It's like, yeah. like you asked me, take your shoes off. I'm like, are you kidding me? No, <laughs> no, we don't do that here. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I didn't want to be yeah. that. And that right. was it. So I came home and I'm like, okay, this is a mistake. We're having kids. <laughs> Two months later, I said, oh, I'm over it. We'll wait another year. And yeah. I was pregnant. Of course. I swear to God. And we like laugh that. about it. Yeah. We laughed about it. Um, ended up with Taylor. And then a year later, uh, I was pregnant with James. Because, mm -hmm. you know, we, at that time, turning almost 40 was a big deal. Like, yeah. there are a lot of women today, early 40s, having kids. Yeah. Back then, it was like, whoa, whoa, you're in your late 30s. Ooh. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And it, it was out of the mm -hmm. norm. I mean, it was. Yeah. But for me, it was perfect. It was perfect. I was ready. Right. So it was the Amazing. best 20 years of my life. <laughs> I wouldn't trade them for anything. I'm serious. I. Right. It it was wonderful. I mean, it turned a house into a home. That's amazing. We had focus on, you know, doing great things and just being a family. And mm -hmm. yeah. Now they're out there thriving. They are. James both, and I'm so proud of both of them. Yeah. They're, they're amazing. Yeah, I'm very proud of them. Right, definitely. Um, so we got to start wrapping up. It's been almost an hour now. Oh, wow. Right oh, now. here time, we go. <laughs> time flies, right? Um, so like just advice for people my age and 
Like what, what kind of wisdom do you have to impart? Because I feel like you're, you're just such a good person to listen to. Um, like I really respect your opinion. And so just like anything for people my age going forward. Don't be forward. afraid to try. Got it. Don't, don't let somebody judge you. Don't worry about them. Worry about yourself. If you falter, figure out what you did, mm-hmm. fix it, stand up and do it again. Don't be afraid. You're, right. You people are young. You have nothing to lose. Right. You have everything to gain. Don't get caught up in bad, bad. Don't don't be around people that take you down. Try to find that's people great. that take you up or work at least at your level. Mm-hmm. I think that's really important. Definitely. You know, my grandmother used to tell me, I'll tell you who you hang out with. I'll tell you who you are. And I used to hate it as a kid. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to tell you, I think there's a lot to be said about that. I think no, be around I mean, motivated people, whether it's your health. And don't forget about your health. Make time for your health. Mm-hmm. You know, you should. If you want to go do MMA or you want us to get in there and do it, and there's no excuse. No, no make it excuse. happen. Just right. make it happen. Right. Don't be afraid. Yeah, Love life. Be smart. Right. I love it. And that's just, it. Just kind of touching off that, though. Like, when, I, when I'm with someone who brings me down, like, like, I always think I can bring them up kind of thing, but it never happens like that. No. It's a <laughs> you know? No. And then you find, you know, the other thing is be careful because let's say you're with mediocrity. Uh-huh. Then you, in your mind, think you're, oh, I'm great. Then I want right. you to step up to someone that's really got it going mm-hmm. on and then tell me how you feel. Right. And 100 bucks says you're going to step up. Right. Exactly. And it's really, really important. It is. <sighs> I love that. That's why I like to be around really uh younger and i don't mean young young but i mean motivated people mm-hmm. that aren't sitting on a couch or <laughs> done with life right. it's like what no i want to keep going keep, keep going. going keep yeah. going keep moving exactly. there's so much to learn there's so much to see in this world like with you starting the cbd company now like yeah and that's crazy. gonna be a big focus of mine yeah well, that'll be the end i i do have a goal i would like to retire at 65 mm-hmm. and um just start you know I, i'm thinking in the next four or five years hopefully terry taylor or james might be settling down or mm-hmm. in the next seven years we might have grandchildren that'd be so exciting right because then that's a whole new oh yeah <laughs> i'm ready for new, that yeah. i already told him i'm gonna spoil him and i know you're gonna like oh, i i can't dang. wait to hear this mom i can't believe you used to let us do that i'm <laughs> never gonna let my children do that. watch this <laughs> guaranteed <laughs> oh, my gosh, so i'm looking forward to that and, and then you know time frame too right yeah. Definitely. Well, thanks so much for for doing this. Really sure, it was me great seeing here. you. Oh, it's always a pleasure. All right, always a pleasure. You're the best. <laughs>